many different types of gears that you may encounter out in the wild, and they all serve unique and essential purposes. They are generally classified by looking at the position of their axes and shafts. The type of gear that you may have seen most commonly portrayed is what's known as the spur gear, also sometimes called slow speed gears. These gears connect parallel and co-parallel shafts and have straight teeth that are parallel to the axis of the wheel. Their simplicity in design makes them easy to manufacture and maintain. They can be used at just about any speed if noise is not an issue in your setup. The next type of gear is known as a helical or dry fixed gear, and they can be thought of as being a refined version of a spur gear. The leading edges of the teeth on helical gears are not parallel to the axis of rotation, but are instead set at an angle. This curve makes the tooth shape a segment of a helix shape. These gears can be meshed in parallel or crossed orientations. Next is the herringbone gear, which somewhat resembles two helical gears that have been placed side by side, so they're sometimes called double helicals. In this arrangement, the thrusts are counterbalanced. With bevel gears, the axis of the two shaft intersect and the tooth bearing faces of the gears themselves are conically shaped. Bevel gears are most often mounted on shafts that are 90 degrees apart, but can be designed to work at other angles as well. The pitch surface of bevel gears is a cone shape. Worm gears transmit power at a 90 degree angle and are appropriate where high reduction is required. The shafts of worm gears lie in parallel planes and may be skewed at an angle between zero and a right angle. One of the gears in a worm gear setup will use screw heads. This means that they are quiet, vibration-free, and give a smooth output. A rack and pinion gear features a toothed bar or rod that can be thought of as a sector gear with an infinitely large radius of curvature. In this configuration, torque can be converted to linear force by meshing a rack with a pinion. Here, the pinion turns and the rack moves in a straight line. Cars use rack and pinion gears to convert steering wheel rotation into the left to right motion of the tie rods. Finally is the internal gear, which has its teeth cut into the internal surface of a cylinder and meshes with spur gears. This type of gear setup requires a different type of production process than most other gears. Stay tuned to Galco TV for more tech tips and visit galco.com to view our full product catalog.